And then through here. That's it. Right. Okay, well, let's try this out. Yes! Yes, okay, everything is making sense. Um, so, what are we going to find? The shopping trolley, probably. We pushed in there earlier. No? Uh, a pot. Okay. A lantern, alright. So, you know, people of old would, you know, drop items into here to make offerings. So I guess we're going to find a hell of a lot. <laughs> Another lantern? We're not just chucking it back in there when we find it, are we? A boot. Seriously? Okay, let's try over here. A sword? Seriously? Please tell me you didn't chuck that, like, away, because that's an antique. That would go for a lot of money. What's this? Okay, we got, like, a little... Jo oh. What's this? Something I can... Hang on. Is this... Go oh, hang on. It it's gold. It's gold. We've got the five materials needed for the pentacle. And that's it. Uh, okay, we can still fish, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Just out of interest. Let's see if we do pull up anything else. There's that sword again. Don't get rid of it this time. No. It, why can't I grab it? That's so annoying. A hammer? Well, I probably don't want to take that. I've passed up loads of opportunities to take hammers. No, I don't want the damn hammer. This is probably just kind of fruitless right now. We've probably found what we came here to find. We're just finding a lot of boots and swords that I can't pick up, frustratingly. Never mind. Right. This is great. This is great. So, yes. So we've got the copper, we've got the iron, we've got the lead, we have the tin, and now we have the gold. This is great. This is fantastic. Let's go back to the farmhouse. Yeah, I saw her there. <laughs> <laughs> She's always standing there. Oh? I guess... Emma? Yep. I found them. They're safe. It's, Good. It's just Mia now. Please, if you can, save her. Whatever that th thing wants, give it to her. Uh-huh. You've made offerings before. What does Baben want? Was something stolen? What can we possibly offer? Well, I've got five offerings of sorts to try out in a moment. And let's see, do I hear singing? I still don't hear singing. Is it safe to go in, or will I be teleported back to the Wishing Stones? Nope, seems fine. Babin didn't come back. She's probably somewhere in the swamp or near Druid's Pool or something. Right, so let's see. Where's that diagram? So... Iron, lead, tin, copper, gold. Let's do this. Right. So let's see. This would go there. That's copper. The horseshoe. That goes there, of course. Oh, was there... In the book, wasn't there like an order of things you needed to do? You need to put the items down in a certain order? Well, let's just see if this works. Um, gold, that'll be that symbol over there. And then it's lead and tin to go. That will be lead. Yes. Yes, this is great. Uh, and tin. It fits. And it works. Whoa. Well, okay. What, we just wrecked the floor? Was that it? Oh, hang on, there's something underneath it, I guess. Alright, let's move everything out of the way. Have I still got, like, the, um, the trowel on me? I suppose I do. I tried to use it earlier, didn't I? Yes! Right. Where am I looking? What am I meant to be doing? Oh, hang on. Yeah, let's, let's keep moving them aside. This one as well. Yep, okay. Alright. Here we go, here we go. The trowel. Where is it? There it is. It's coming in pretty useful. Aha, uh -huh, yep, there's definitely something under here. This is pretty exciting. What are we looking at here? Oh! Bones. Baben's body, maybe. Is it Babe? 
This is what Agatha found, wasn't it? This is the, the, draw the drawing of the skeleton that we found. Right. What? What is that? Can you hear like a did it did did it did? The hell is that? Is that something to do with the phone by any chance? Hmm. Something's playing up around here. I don't know what it is. Let's just get rid of that. Uh, okay. And we can actually use something with Baben. Right. Uh, okay. In several areas, I guess? It's kind of weird. Okay. It's a shame I didn't take a copy of, um, Agatha's book. <sighs> Do I want to be doing this? Go to lake for take. Go to lake for take? For taking of what? Am I about to be possessed by Baven? Because it kind of feels like that. Right, um... Do I have to go back to the garage and have a look at that skeleton again? Maybe, it's been a while. So there's an area up here. There's an area down there, okay. Okay. I'm confused. I think what I want to do is go back to the garage and have a look at the skeleton drawing. Because... I seem to remember there being numbers around certain parts of the body, and I think those numbers corresponded to certain things. And maybe those certain things are what we need to put in the hole. Maybe that's what I need to use. I, I think I'm getting this. I just can't remember exactly what those things were. Uh, so yeah, this way... Uh, it's been a while since I went into the garage, which is the easiest way to get there. Probably that way and over the wall, right? This is exciting. And we're really knocking down the items now. Maybe we're near the end of the game? I mean, we've saved everyone that we can save, I think, apart from Mia. Oh, very nice. Very kind again, automatically using the keys. Here we are. Yeah, number four, number three, number two, and number one. There was definitely an area near the knees that I could use something. And there's definitely something near the feet that I could use too. Didn't really see if there was an area in the back or the, or the skull. But what are these numbers? We're going to have to look in the book again, aren't we? Agatha Dunharker, it's here. Somewhere. I remember seeing it. Was it this one? Oh, yes, possibly. Yeah, one, two, three, and four. Okay, yeah. A small dagger, an earthenware bowl, a sturdy decorated beaker, no doubt containing a fermented brew, and a piece of Bronze Age jewellery. All right. I'm actually going to note this down. I don't know if we need to find a dagger, exactly. Maybe we've already found it. Maybe Gus left it for us with that multi-tool, because I think there was a knife on it. Will that do? A bowl? Uh, a, a beaker with a fermented brew. Yeah, this- yes, that's it! Look, it is interesting to note that the scoring and marks on the blade indicate the knife had many uses and functions. It's the multi-tool. I get it now. I do get it. So, the, okay, that is number one. We've already got that. An earthenware bowl, a container for food. Uh... Small bird bones at the bottom. Most probably wild, fowl, or game. Alright, I, uh, I don't think we've- we've got that. Sturdy decorated beaker. The hot liquid would restore energy and invigorate the senses. Is this something to do with that web page that we saw on the laptop? Um, like the, the pouches you could put into cups of tea or something. Picked up on hints of heather and barley. Heather, okay, well that seems, that seems noteworthy. Heather and barley. Okay. And the last one is a beautiful piece of Bronze Age jewellery. A glass bowl contained with a round, 
bronze clasp. And I'm wondering if it's that weird sort of Celtic corner shit that we uh, that we got, that Ollie got. It's a high status find. That might work. That actually might work. Right, I've noted down, I think, well, all the details that I, I needed to. So let's just back out of this. I've got a couple of these items already, I think, so... Yeah, that'll be number one. Yes. Yes, this is great. And that's the pendant that I need, I think. Okay. You know what? We should probably go back to Barrow Hill Radio. Now that Emma's been saved, maybe she's left something for me as well, like the other two did. Let's give that a try. Okay, let's pick that up. Da -da 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 -da. There we are. Don't really want to be making this trip too many times. That could get kind of annoying. But here we are, back at BHR. I assume Emma's long gone. We're not going to be seeing her animated. No, okay, but she left the door unlocked. Thank you very much. All right, so let's see. What we got? Well, we've got a different view of things. And we can play with the laptop, just like we could in Barrier Hill 1. Alright, uh, okay. Um, home, I guess? Here we go. Strange, the exact same websites. This is what I was talking about, though. Purine balance. Right. Was it sensations and nature and power or something? Sedate. Okay. Now, I, I've, I've noted down, it's it's Heather and Barley. I think there was another one or something? Was it Power? Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is what I remember. That's it! Okay, so let's see. Sorry, old chair. Heather! Heather! He okay. So, Heather, we might need to use this one? I don't know where these would be, though. We, we can't pull them out of the laptop. They've got to be here in physical form in the game somewhere. What was the other one? Barley. So I need these two end ones, I think. And and then I need to pour that on the skeleton in a certain area? I'm a little confused. <laughs> Alright. Good to know, though. Um, Let's just uh, go to home, I suppose. Cornish Messenger. Yep. What about if I go to desktop? Oh, the desktop is the web page. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Sleep? Sure. She didn't leave those uh, those pouches around, did she? That'd be nice. Lots of noodles. Well, I suppose when they're free with every newspaper, of course you're going to get a lot of noodles. What have we got here? Evidence, witness, news, sightings. All right. Very old school, this is. All the tapes. Who's this? Uh, doesn't matter. What's this? We got more noodles! Moshi Noshi! Uncooked duck no nah, duck noodles. There was mentions of a bird on those grave goods. That's gonna be one of them. That's gonna be that's gonna be one of them. That's that's the earthenware bowl one? Right? So that's gonna be the one that's placed near the skeleton's back, I think. <laughs> Alright! Can't actually examine that. Um okie dokie. Can't play the tapes or anything. Can we run the desk? That'd be nice. I can be the new host, seeing as Emma's gone. Right. Yeah. Even though the plants have gone, it is still a bit of a mess. More noodles? Let's see how... Ah! Purine balance! Look at this shit! Here we go. Here we go! BHR, this is what I was... This is what I was missing. Okay. Shit. I should have noted down what the colour combinations were. Which one had the heather, which one had the barley. Uh... What about... <laughs> Just pour it onto the side there. Right. Um... So we need to... We need to put something down there. Oh, and then use the kettle. No, don't! Just pour it on the side! Oh, god damn it. This is why this place is a mess, because Emma keeps doing shit like this. Ah, oh, poor Wincy. Okay, um... Do I have to, like... Uh, cook this up and everything. It fits! Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Is that even hot water? I don't know. Does it matter? Anyway. Duck noodles. Great. 
Hopefully that's a worthy offering. Like, we got a cup right there. We need something like that. Ah, uh, oh. Hang on. What's this? No. <laughs> Stop. Stop putting stuff down there. Tell you what, tell you what, let's let's back out of this. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Okay. Are they still in the box? Great. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. And that, and then that, to get this. A Barrow Hill Radio mug. And that's the mug that I'm sure has to go down there, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Now let's get the stuff out of the box. Maybe. Maybe. No, I think I think we have to have a look at the laptop again, honestly. Uh, no, 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 no. That way. Look at the laptop. Home. Purine balance. Now, it was the one at the very left, wasn't it? And the one at the very right. So, it's this sort of, like, yellow... It's this yellow-brown combination for the barley. Okay. And it's this one for the heather. That's right, and that's sort of a green and purple mix. Thanks, Doc. Okay. Okay. If it's just a mix of two, I think we're done. Although I can't help but feel that I think I saw something on the grave goods thing that was... It said the drink was meant to invigorate or energize or something. Oh dear. Let's just try these two. If not, I'll have, I think I might have to go back to the... Um, I might have to go back to, to the garage. So, sleep. Sleep. There we go. Okay. Turn around. Use this again. There we are. Uh, uh, let's see. BHR. Mug goes down there. Do we do the water first or last? I guess let's do it first. Alright. Alright, so let's see. Let's get them all out of the box. I do have the full set, right? I've, I've got the ones I'm looking for. Right. Okay. This one, I'm hoping, is barley. Alright. Changes the colour of the water a little bit. It's definitely not hot. <laughs> I think this one is going to be for the heather. Great! Oh, what a weird looking drink. Purple? Christ and whitey, alright. So, we're done with that? We're done with it. Oh, this is the invigorate and restore drink. This is, this is it. So yeah, we didn't need to go back to the garage or anything. So have I got everything now? Have I got everything to make the offering? So I've got... This multi-tool, that'll take the place of the dagger. I've got the pendant, that'll be the fourth item. I've got this... <laughs> sort of earthenware bowl. And then there's this drink. I think I've got it. I think I've got it right! Why, I might be able to break Mia out of this spell. Once again, we're going to go back to the farmhouse. Alright. Here we are. So, there's an area by the feet, there's an area by the knees, and there's an area down here somewhere? I guess there? Yeah, yeah. And there's one near the skull. There is. I don't actually have to pick the skull up. I don't really want to do that again. But okay, alright. So, let's see. I did note this down. So, the dagger is meant to go near the feet, it seems. <laughs> this is great. Okay. Um, the the bowl is kind of meant to go near the back area. That's number two. And I'm guessing the bowl is meant to be this. <laughs> okay. By the knees, that's number three. And I think that's the, the mysterious drink that we just concocted. So we're just going to leave that in the mug. Right up there. Yep. And now it's hot, bizarrely. Weird. Okay. And finally, of course, the pendant goes around, well, I suppose, the neck. Shit. Help me. Right, I've got I've got to use something with her. Oh, uh effigy? Yes, the effigy! The powerful effigy. Ah Okay, yeah, we're we're definitely approaching the end of the game, if not the end of the game itself. Well, look at that. Silly girl. What? Did we just pocket her? Oh, no, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I've got to, got to take her out of here, have we? Oh, 
Oh, look at this. It's so nice. Can we just walk around? No, okay. Uh, oh, uh, mind your head. So here we are, listeners. End of the night with dawn fast approaching. We've survived the night on Barrow Hill. I may never understand the powers of the ancient past, and I don't want to. As the equinox draws to a close once again, the past retreats back to where it belongs. A braver soul than I made good a terrible wrong. There's a fine line between archaeology and grave robbing. I'll wait and see how tonight's events will be explained. But we know what happened. You've been listening to me, Emma Harry. Thanks for staying with me and listening to the fabulous sounds of BHR through the night. I'll be back on the air usual time. Till then, good night listeners, wherever you are. And there you have it. That is the end to Barrow Hill, The Dark Path. And before I get started with my little mini-review, I suppose, um, that I usually do at the end of the playthroughs, here is a list of the people that helped me out through this playthrough with their hints and tips pointing me in the right direction through comments and private messages. Thank you very much. Your hard work was very much appreciated. And uh, I don't think I could have got through this quite so quickly if it weren't for your help. So thank you very much. Now on to my little review. Um, what did I think of this game? I thought it was okay, actually. I thought it was quite solid overall. Um, I was expecting to make fun of this game a lot more than I actually did, so I suppose that's a plus. It wasn't all that scary, although it did get me a couple of times. There were some comedic moments here and there. Um, some intentional, some not. Uh, the characters were okay. Didn't particularly like all the accents. Ollie, I'm looking at you. Um, revisiting the old locations, that was fun. The puzzles were okay. I think overall this game is a lot more involved. Um, but strangely, I, I think I prefer the first one. And I don't know why. Because I think overall this game is better. So I'm trying to work that out. Maybe I, I've got this weird fetish for getting chased by giant stones trying to kill me or something. And that was, you know, missing in this game, but... I don't know. Maybe, I, I think in this game I was kind of like muddling through it. I was, I guess I was doing a lot of the game out of sequence and maybe that's why it felt a little strange. I was going to areas before I was meant to go there or receiving information that I wasn't meant to get yet. Like when I saved Gus, he told me about Emma who was in trouble and she wasn't even in trouble at that point, so that was weird. And um, I'd already figured out the wishing stones before I was ever meant to figure out the wishing stones by finding that, the uh, to reverse a wish thing. So that was really weird. And there was just various inconsistencies and, I don't know, maybe Ollie's accent pissed me off more than I care to realise or something, but, yeah. So, it's a, it's a bit of a strange one. I think this is a, a better game, but I'd, I'd sooner play the first one again than this one. Strange. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments down below, please. And I hope to see you back in another video very soon. See you then. There's that sword again! Don't get rid of it this time! No! Why can't I grab it? That's so annoying! This is great! This is fantastic! Let's go back to the farmhouse! Yeah, I saw her there. <laughs> She's always standing there. It fits. And it works! Do I want to be doing this? What's this? We got more noodles! Moshi Noshi! Uncooked duck no nah, duck noodles. What about <laughs> Just pour it onto the side there. Oh, and then use the kettle. No, don't just pour it on the side Oh god damn it. This is why this place is a mess, because Emma keeps doing shit like this. Right, I've got I've gotta use something with her. Oh, uh Effigy? Yes, the effigy! The powerful effigy. Ah! 